The views expressed are solely those of the speaker and not necessarily those of Paltalk.com, AVM software, or its advertisers. News Talk is online. News Talk Online is a production of Paltalk.com, the largest multimedia interactive program on the Internet with more than 4 million unique users on demand on iTunes and on YouTube and on my blog, GaryBombGarten.com, where you are all invited to post your comments, whether you agree with yours truly or not. And thanks to our friends at CRN Digital Talk Radio. We are syndicated coast to coast across the United States of America to 12 million additional households. I am your host, Gary Baumgarten. Welcome to the show. Speaking of commenting on the blog, uh, we were uh, deluged, inundated with uh, comments today because uh, I asked you, my uh, great listeners, to uh, post uh, onto the blog your thoughts about some of the issues that have not been covered thus far in the presidential campaign now that it is a general election race between Obama and McCain, and uh, the issues that are not being covered by the news media. And lo and behold, there's some great suggestions that I have here that I will be reading periodically throughout the program. I want to first turn to Alan J.C., our political correspondent. Alan, what do Obama, what issues do Obama and McCain have to address in order to uh, gain attention to their campaigns and to win over the undecided voters in our nation. Well, the, the number one issue is still the economy. Um, and then 1A would have to be Iraq. But number one is the economy because it's affecting uh, more and more people every day. We keep seeing layoffs that are being announced by some of the major companies. We see things happening in Detroit at, at the auto plants, as well as we've just seen United make announcements today that they're going to be uh, laying off employees. I would imagine other uh, areas of the airline industry, other carriers will also be doing the same shortly. Uh, fuel costs are just uh, exorbitant, and uh, these airlines, which are in um, trouble to begin with, um, you know, will, will have will be just they can't uh, handle these uh, fuel charges anymore, and they're going to have the only way that they can uh, recoup some of that, unfortunately, is to downsize people. Um, it's a reality of uh, how to uh, handle economic woes when you're a big corporation, and that is to shed people. So I think the economy and then Iraq are the big issues. You know, one of the things, Alan, that I noticed in some of the uh, uh, magazines uh, covering the news media uh, were uh, analyses of uh, the news coverage uh, during the primary. And what they said kind of reflects what you just said, and that is since people are now being hurt in the pocketbook, less and less and less attention is being placed on the war in Iraq, and it has been suggested by former and current uh, reporters, journalists across the United States, that the media are not doing their job by not raising the issue of Iraq and not forcing the candidates to discuss that issue. Uh, what are your feelings on that? I think the candidates are going to, are discussing it anyway. I mean, you can't uh, see any of them speak without bringing it up. The, it, the fact is that the only thing that the media has been covering the last few weeks has been the Obama-Clinton race and, and uh, McCain getting a little bit of coverage in there. Now that there's down to a Republican and a Democrat Barack Obama going into the general election, now the news media is going to be forced to turn to the issues because the candidates and, and their surrogates will start to raise these issues. Um, you know, again, the, the, the news media has been talking about Iraq the last few weeks only in, in, in the fact that they've been talking about Iraq and that they believe that is the cause of Hillary Clinton's demise because she was um, a, a supporter 
of the uh, war, the war um, in, in Iraq in the early days, and, and that uh, they feel that Obama's stance uh, against the war, you know, certainly uh, created a, a, you know, dividing line for people to decide which candidate uh, they preferred. Uh, you know, there were other issues as well, but. You know, we're also going to see, you know, when we saw an Obama speech last night, you know, we'll see the uh, universal health care being pushed through this. We will see uh, more talk about the climate. There is a bill uh, that uh, is being brought before congressional committees now, and I believe that uh, the, the climate will also be raised. So, I mean, we, we are going to start to see more and more issues. The race is over, and now the, the real talking has to start, um, well, at least for this round of, uh, you know, uh, of the political game. Well, very interestingly, uh, I put out a call this morning on the blog, GaryBombGarden.com, asking people, what are the issues you think uh, ought to be discussed? Uh, let me read one of the comments. Not much has been said about the environment and conservation so far in this campaign. This is a global issue. Look at the melting ice caps. Look at China's air pollution problem that affects us all. Look at the destruction of the Amazon rainforest. The United States, this person writes, must be the world leader it is supposed to be and take the lead on these issues. I want to know where McCain and Obama stand on them. I want the news media to hold their feet to the fire. Let's go to Malik in Indianapolis to find out what he thinks ought to be discussed in this campaign. Malik, welcome to News Talk Online on paltalk.com. Well, one thing for sure is this. Thank you, Gary, for having me. Wherever 